Hey guys and welcome to the people out there. Today we will be having an exciting episode of uh, Collector's Things. I don't know, I keep on changing the names, okay, but uh, today we will be checking out the Hammond Collection, Ceratosaurus. Ooh, so nice. Okay, uh, first glance, the box, epic. We got John Hammond over here, Hammond Collection over here, Ceratosaurus. The Jurassic Park logo and on the side another Hammond Collection logo and the back you have the product shot of the figure itself a little description of the Ceratosaurus an unfortunate stench left by the Spinosaurus turns out to be quite fortunate for Dr. Alan Grant and others when they come face to face with the Ceratosaurus on Ease the Sorn Hmm, yeah, there's, there's only one scene in Jurassic Park 3, that's all, but I'm glad this guy is getting some form of recognition. Then you have the website www.jurassicworld.com, and then we have the Meta logo, empowering the next generation through play, and then uh, don't eat this toy, warning, small parts may be generated, I'm not sure how, but let's see. Colors and the decorations may vary. All right, ooh, this is a nice shot of the figure. Hammond Collection, the Ceratosaurus, and the Jurassic Park 3 logo. Ooh, the best movie, oh! And then, uh, yeah, um, down there have the trees. It's also part of the logo. I like how it's like, it's caged up. Like, you can see the top, it's like, ooh, look, we have the locks. Then we have the nice uh, T Rex logo. What we have uh, all the junk and whatnot. So, yeah, I'll unbox it in the next second. But I think so it's gonna take a solid 5 to 10 minutes to take this baby out. So, I'll see you in 3, 2, 1. And he's out of the packaging. Oh lord. Okay, first things first. Uh, you would need a blade of some sort to cut off the sides, the tape and all that. And then once it's out of the packaging, it comes in this plastic and then he is tied with these things, you know, these rubber things, I forgot what they are called but Mattel, uh, if you're hearing this, can you not use these things? These things are absolute waste of material, time. And they're eventually going to end up in garbage and turn into pollution. They are not discarded properly. So, can we just stop using these things? I'm sure there's other alternatives. Like, even this thing when it came in, right? It was super tight. It was super tight. Like, it didn't need any securing or whatnot. So, yeah, that's my only gripe. Sorry that starting off with a very negative note, but yeah to see but uh, without further ado let's uh, concentrate on the figure so it comes in two parts so one is the main body then we have the tail so i think that you just need to pop this guy here Ooh, it's going to be a very naughty sight <laughs> but okay as you can see so there's this plus I don't know, okay, okay, there's this thing over here that goes right here. There we go, so it pops in. Nice. Alright, so there we are. Woo! The Stratosaurus Fair. It looks nice. Oh lord. Woo! Sheesh! But, alright, okay. This guy's in frame, let me see. Hey, it's in frame. Okay, so, you guys, folks. This is the Jurassic Park 3 Hammond Collection Ceratosaurus. Looking fine as hell. So, okay, let's. First things first. First glance. It's a really interesting looking figure. Because I've seen uh, Metal's. Uh, I wouldn't say basic, I think so. It was one of those. Uh, raw something like that la, 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 almost like drop a picture inside here but yeah the, those those figures might not much articulation but some action features like tends to bite make sounds or whatnot but 
this ooh, this is more like a, how to say a more collector friendly I guess because they had the amber collection which was a horrible horrible approach to the collector series they were very expensive but they did give like nice bases to hold on your to your dinosaurs and whatnot but other than that they were very pricey like unbelievably pricey like the raptor pack that was like around 250 bucks or oh, sorry ringgit malaysia but yeah but this guy this guy is was relatively cheaper than i expected i thought i'm not going to get a hammond collection because it's going to be pricey and whatnot they had the parasol offers and the baryonyx and then with this guy the uh, the Ceratosaurus and then the Triceratops and the next one would be the Hammond Collection T-Rex which is a huge bugger, huge one and then they even have the uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive the one with the uh, the guy that gets eaten in the toilet in the first movie I forgot that guy this guy's name but yeah most likely I'll have another picture but yeah so okay enough of me rambling about the history of so called history of the Toy. let's check out the articulation so first we have the neck articulation so it goes up and down goes left to right and then ooh, wait wait 360 360 let's go all right and then the neck let's see the jaw uh, open ooh, ooh. I think, ah there we go jaw can open oh so we have go up and down not bad hmm not bad at all all right Let's see on the inside Still painted oh, all right that's not better with the small horn and then it turns into your soul like all the <laughs> dinosaurs that they produce no 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 it's okay but yeah so then the arm articulation let's see okay just like this uh, does it go up and down yes full full turn and this let's see yeah, it bends does it turn oh yeah it does it does turn side to side it's the same here uh, 360 nice very nice oh it's doing that particular pose huh it's a very fruity, fruity little dino, huh? Okay, this joking, alright. And then, uh, let's see the legs. The legs, woo! Look at this legs, boy! So, that's good. That's that thing that. Okay, goes in and out. And then, uh, does it swivel? Yeah, it swivels, okay. Let's see here. So, the feet goes back. Okay, so there's two articulations. One is for the feet, another one is for the ankle part. And then the knees, it goes very bends nicely. Same for the other one. But does it? Oh, it's not going to the front. So that's, that's, that's it. I guess we can see. Is it stuck? No, it's not. It's not stuck. It doesn't go to the front, unfortunately. But it's okay. And then the tail, yeah, the tail does swivel up and down. Uh, you know, not much of a turn, but it's all right. It's, it's not bad. It's a decent looking dino figure. All right, let's see if I can pose. Uh, it has good balance, which most, you know, dino figures, especially the carnivores lack. No worries for the four-legged ones, but you know, especially the two-legged ones. I'm looking at you, Kefernator, and I'm looking at you. You guys could check out that review too. And then, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. Hmm. Bring it down a bit. All right. That's it's a pretty decent-looking figure. Hmm. There you go folks, it's not bad huh, the painting wise is alright, let me just try to zoom in the eyes, 
Ooh. Sprinter tu Yep, Sprinter Nice The other one Yeah Six focuses Ooh. Then Him out Yeah, it's all Lost up inside Yeah, it's It's not bad It's not bad at all <laughs> Let's see it. Ooh. I like this figure very much. This that's all the only gripe I had is that the way that it's packaged. But other than that, it has like a background here, but it sticks it stuck. Oh she do you see she see that? Do you see that? All these plastic bits. Ugh. What the hell? This is how you get microplastics, by the way. Okay, so better get prepared right now because soon you'll be served with microplastics <laughs> yum yum all right so let's give this figure a score hmm <laughs> figure wise excellent i'll give it a I'll give it an eight there's a bit of uh, painting issues here and there like over here i don't know what what's going on but it's all right it's all right even same here there's a bit of you know paint sploshed here and there but it's fine it's all right it's all right and yeah other than that it is a solid figure i really like it very much so well this is the end of the review natal if you're watching this please sponsor me with your future hammond collection i will love review it to them you know i'm giving good reviews i'm giving honest reviews so hit your boy up man what are you waiting for okay jokes aside thank you for watching this video see you in the next one nandri vanakkam